this is my favorite. Also happens to be one of the biggest varieties in terms of the berry size of any of the raspberries that we grow. Guten yardening, everybody. Well, I am surrounded by some absolutely beautiful raspberry bushes. And today I wanna to show you the different varieties we have, give you a couple of tips about growing raspberries and talk to you about some of the reasons why we absolutely love growing raspberries here in Zone 5, Wisconsin. And as a bonus, and you'll need to stick around for this, I'm gonna show you a couple of the other fruits that we have growing as well and where they are in the process. Well, currently at our house, we have three different varieties of raspberries growing. This is a black raspberry. This is our heritage red raspberry. And beside this second black raspberry, we have my favorite, which is a golden raspberry. Now, in our opinion, raspberries are very easy to grow. In fact, one of the things we love about growing raspberries here in Zone 5 is that they are definitely hardy over the winter. Hardy to a point where you're going to see that if you're growing raspberries and you're not careful, they'll continue to grow and spread out. Now, I think that's one of the things that some people don't care for about raspberries is the fact that if you're not careful, they will spread in a lot of different ways. But I can tell you, after growing these raspberries for the past five plus years, they have not left the area that we have contained them in. And that's important to remember. As long as you take care of a couple of simple steps of gathering up the ones that are extra, in our case, what we often do is when they pop up in our bed where we don't want them, we'll dig them up, we'll pot them elsewhere, and sometimes we'll even sell them. And in terms of ease of growing, this is growing directly in our native soil. We did no amending to this. So we've basically grown it in our worst possible soil here. And that's another reason why we think it's worth giving it a try. If you keep an eye on them and maintain control of them early on, you'll find that you won't have any problem. Now I'm gonna show you two things. The first thing I'm gonna show you is what I did at the beginning of this spring, whenever the leaves started to develop back on these plants. And the second thing I wanna do is show you what we did with our black raspberry last year in order to help it expand a little bit into a space where we wanted more development. These are our heritage red raspberry flora canes. These are second year canes and you can see the greens are starting to come out on them. Now remember with fall bring raspberries, the prima canes only produce at the very end and this is from last season. Now this season, the flora canes are gonna produce down the rest of the way on the stem. And so if you didn't already do this at the beginning of the winter, now's the time to come in and remove the tips off of these canes. And the general recommendation for doing this is to just cut them down about a third of the way. But what I like to do is come down to where I see some green and then cut about an inch above that because this part of the cane isn't gonna produce any more fruit. Now, one of the plants that you saw me pruning there was a heritage red raspberry. That's a fall bearing raspberry, which means that we're gonna get some of the production at the ends of our prima cane, our first year cane, and additional production then on our second year canes, our flora cane. So let's take a look at what it looks like now and then we'll go take a look at our black raspberry. Now this heritage red raspberry started as one small plant and you can see it's now taking up a space that's about eight feet wide by about three and a half feet deep. And this is incredibly full. And if you look, this is the prima cane. This is the first year cane and you can tell it's the first year cane because it's nice and green and it's only got production and you can see it's an early season producer at the ends for those primacanes. It's only got production at the very ends. And here's one of our floricanes. You can see the difference in color. It's a brown color and you can see where I cut off the ends. Well, if we look back down the floricane now, you can see farther down the stem. There's where some of that berry production is going to come in a little bit later in the season. And so this is set up to produce a massive amount of these delicious red berries these heritage red raspberries are super sweet a little bee taking a rest here in its journey of pollination now one thing i want to point out it's about 5 p.m right now and you can see there's still some nice sun right here at the corner of our house now what makes this spot unique is that this heritage red raspberry and then this black raspberry and the golden raspberry that we have at the back of our house actually get a little bit more afternoon sun and a little bit longer sun in general so I would consider these two areas to be full sun, six plus hours of sun. But this black raspberry you can see is in the shade and really this area, which is at the corner of our house. So we've got our garage and our main house here. This is one corner 
this is definitely a shaded garden area now I can come in a little bit closer here and you're gonna see right away I mean these berries are already ripening up look at the numbers as I move around this plant and this is a summer bearing variety which means that we're only gonna get production on those second year floricanes and you can see again look at the color of the cane see the cane is kind of a reddish brown color behind here compare that to our primocanes right here see our primocanes there's not going to be any production this season but next season this is going to produce nicely so we have really nice production coming in in a shaded area so this variety has no problem in the shade and one of the things we absolutely love about these raspberries and again this is where it kind of gets a little tricky because some people really don't like this about them but i think it makes them very valuable and that is that they reproduce quite easily and you can expand and expand as much as you want to all of these black raspberry plants that are in this bed and this is a full shaded bed as well right in the corner all of these happened as a result of us taking the tip of one of these canes and these canes grow really nice and long but we took one of those canes and we made the tip of it touch down in our soil in this bed and once it does that the tip of that cane will root and as a result once we cut that off the next season here come the plants and now in this bed we have five or six different places where we've got these primocanes in here, which means for this summer bearing variety, next season, we're gonna get some great berry production. All right, I'm over here by our golden raspberries, and I mentioned that this is my favorite. It also happens to be one of the biggest varieties in terms of the berry size of any of the raspberries that we grow. And this one is really cool, and it, it, it adds to another element that we really like about growing raspberries. I'm gonna go in here, and I'm gonna show you this as best I can. There's something missing in here for this variety. Here, let's take a look over here and see if you can see it. You see what's missing? There are no thorns. One of the things we love about raspberries is there are so many different varieties to try out. This one, this particular variety, again, loves the full sun, is doing quite well in the full sun, just as this black raspberry is doing. So full sun, shade, this variety is fine. So even though this is a summer bearing variety, which means we're only getting the fruits on the floor canes of these, the second year canes as well, this one still grows a little differently than our black raspberry. It has that nice vertical cane, but it doesn't extend out as much as our black raspberry variety. Okay, I'll show you what I mean. This black raspberry, the same as the one in the corner in the shade, you can see it's just going and going and going. But we love that variety because we're growing both the summer bearing and the fall bearing varieties we're getting production that lasts an entire season long so we're not just limited to a few weeks when these first ones ripen up we get some production for quite a bit of time and on top of all of that of course this is organic produce and so well we get the benefit of something that is really expensive at the store here by the handful once it ripens up well we really hope that this entices you to give raspberries a try if you have questions about it let us know and also check out some of our videos that we've done earlier just search raspberries guten yardening and see what we've done to explain how we do our pruning etc now before we end this video let's take a look at a couple of our other fruits and where they are in the development stages last year our rabbits decimated our grapes over the winter this year well, we haven't actually pruned them back yet, and I know we're going to have to do that. We're gonna to have to remove some of these grapes in order to make sure the production is high. But take a look at this absolutely loaded down with these developing grapes. You want some shade, you don't need a shade tree. Instead, enjoy the shade created by a trellised grapevine. Now I'm gonna show you one more fruit, but only because it's ripening up. And that is our pink champagne currants. These are so delicious. I definitely prefer them to the black currants. We have a lot of other fruit out here. I think that's all we have time for in this video. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video today and found it informative and useful. If you did, don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment, remember to share and subscribe, and most importantly, remember, when you're with us, you are good to grow.